Welcome to another video, A Walk With Phil, and I'm here in West Bromwich. And today I'm going to take you down a road that I'm sure many of you have some memories of. Maybe you walked along here when you went to the many pubs or the shops that were down here. Or maybe you went along here to the hospital. Or maybe you went along here to Churchfield School. Uh, so, let's see how many, mem how many things you can remember. We take a walk along All Saints Way. First thing I've got to say, of course, that this road is extraordinarily busy because this one, this stretch of road takes you all along to the old part of West Bromwich where Old Church is situated, All Saints Church. And you take a right down the bottom and go along Newton Road and you would eventually end up in the city of Birmingham. Um, and just ahead of me there is the expressway that was opened in 1973 and that was that road takes you up into the quite a large island and it meets all the motorways of the M5, M6 and also a bit further past there you'd see the West Bromwich Albion Football Club which in my opinion is in the wrong place it should be in West Bromwich really it's just on the border of West Brom and Birmingham but anyway uh, the expressway also continues over there where Travel Lodge is uh, that one will take you down towards Wensbury Way and all this, all this in the late 60s, early 70s didn't really exist as such, there was all just fields and where the uh, Premier Inn is ahead of me that would have been the sites all around that of Cronhill School and so yeah, there's a huge amount of changes occurred late 60s, early 70s and uh, so all this here, this never existed, none of this top end of All Saints Way was a thing back in the late 60s, early 70s. Uh, so what we're going to do then, if we're going to walk the All Saints Way, we've got to start right from the beginning, which, we, which, which is what we're doing. And now you can see it's uh, a dual carriageway going down and a dual carriageway coming up. It could be said that the creation of this road was a good thing, as it um, provided excellent links to the city and all around the town of West Bromwich. But it's hard to imagine. And all this area used to be just fields and a few houses as you know dotted over there. And it was the main road that would take you right down to the bottom, as you can see ahead of me. Uh, one of the main roads uh, would have been the road to my left, which had been Hargate Lane. Hargate Lane stems from Sandwell Road which which begins off the High Street and Hargate Lane used to run parallel to my left and uh, just here on my left now there's a port that was built for many of the residents on the Tantony Estate the very famous legendary Tantony Estate or the TT Estate the pub was built here there's a small there's a small stepway that used to take you down to now a long defunct closed down pub and normally you can see all the car park here it's all uh, all dilapidated now I think it's been turned into some residential flats now and you can see the you can see the sign there the Hargate Arms it wasn't the original name of the pub for those who you remember it used to be called the China Clipper and I did a video of this area, not so long back, around the Tantony Estate. Check that out, if you can. A lot of these now, isn't there, little cycle lanes? Don't really go anywhere. Have a look at this cycle lane here. It begins kind of there, comes across these two roads here, and kind of stops there in front of that in front of that yellow sign yeah brilliant that, that probably costs thousands now hargate lane as you can see to my left here would have come along here as you can see and this is where the end of all the fields and ro houses rows of houses would have stopped because um this road hargate lane would have cut across here and it would have gone just just over there where that white van's turning down that was still our gate lane 
Grafton Road would be to the right. And Argate Lane would join Linden Street at the top end. And so we got Grafton Road stores, where in fact, actual fact, back in the day, in the 30s, 40s, whatever, that was used to be part of Fargate Lane, that corner shop. Yeah, just here to my left now would be Gladstone Street. Gladstone Street would come up and it would join Hargate Lane. And it would join into Hargate Lane. As I said, Hargate Lane would go over there towards Linden Street. But anyway, so this road now, this is the beginnings of the main road down towards All Saints Church. This particular road would have been Scott Street. Now, where this bus is running now, this is, wasn't the road. The road is on the opposite side where all the cars are coming up. That was the original road. These houses are on my left. Uh, they all look rather swanky now with their new window frames. I'm not sure if they're new builds, although there were still council properties all being done up. But whatever houses were with these or previous ones, their gardens would, their front gardens would stretch uh, out onto this road because council properties usually had quite long front and rear gardens back in the day or well, some of them did uh, quite a few did in West Brom so in actual fact I would be walking on people's front gardens and they were all compulsory purchased in order to create this dual carriageway going down towards Old Church so as I said earlier, we just had a single carriageway which would have been over there, where those houses are there on my right. Over there on the right, some council properties built over there. It was kind of landscaped over there. There were some trees and it was shaped into a kind of crescent. Not really can see very clearly over here how it's shaped, but just beyond the trees there's a crescent-shaped pathway. And all the houses, those particular houses laid back, laid back from the, the main road. There is a road I've just noticed here on my left. I don't know exactly what this name of this road is, but you can see it, it probably was a road that would have uh, joined Scott Street just ahead of me. All these parking spots in front of their houses have all got uh, permits. Parking's a premium simply because ahead of me here, on well, on the right here, is the, is the big hospital of West Bromwich. All these houses had much longer, much longer front gardens and when they compulsory purchased them they built all these walls for them along the front. So the, the road to my left now is the original road now, um, before they created the dual carriageway on the other side. So this is Linden. Back in the day it was Linden Street and I'll just pan up there for you. Uh, as you can see this is the main hospital and this is now called Linden and up there I did a video around here Linden uh, talking about when Oliver Cromwell came to West Brom to water his horses at the Pearl Spring up the top there and uh, up there would have been the Jolly the Jolly Nailer which was a very old pub now gone closed down in 2014 and became have a guess yeah flats so as we continue I'll walk on this very, very busy road. That house there, just on the corner of Malvern, closes was a lodge of some sort. You can tell, can't you? Yeah, it looks like new builds all around it. Yeah, many of you have walked this road, as I said earlier. I'm sure you was going on this way to school, Churchfield School, and you would have been walking along here to to get to one of the two, one or a couple of the pubs that were down here. A few shops were up here also. Um, you may have even been going along here to go to church. There is something that's been here years and it's a very strange place for it to be. It's a funeral director called Gibbs. Gibbs Funeral Director. I'm not sure how long it's been there, but it's been there ever since I remember it, which was the early 70s. I always used to think it was a very odd place for a funeral directors to be, uh, but there must have been some reason as to why it was there. Uh, there's only a very small passageway between that house on the left and Gibbs on the right to get their cars up and down. Yeah, there's a visitor car park down there as well. Yeah, okay.
Gibbs, the funeral directors. It's still there. Okay, we come to some traffic lights now, and we're still uh, we're still on uh, what is known as Linden Street now. And as we just go past these traffic lights, you'll see a road on the left called Wilford Road. Wilford Road would lead you to a very industrialised part of West Bromwich, well, once it used to be, uh, where there was many foundries and chemical plants and dew works. Um, and it was Church Lane. Yeah, Church Lane on the left here, where it says the 30 sign down there. It would have been the, in the trees beyond there, that would have been the brick, the all end brick makers with his famous mar hole. I did a video of Church Lane. Uh, yeah, I'll s check it out. You'll see a lot of interesting information around Church Lane. Uh, just here, uh, just here to my right, this is Little Lane. Now, Little Lane would have joined this road here, um, to my left. Uh, but it used to have a port there. Someone told me it was called the Queen's Head. But sadly, if it was the Queen's Head, that pub is no longer in existence. It's been demolished and they built a house or so, I th built a house or two on the site, I believe. Yeah, so on this very busy junction, you've got Wilford Lane down, down there, Wilford Road down there, ahead of me. And uh, here to my right now, you've got a some land that used to belong to the council and it's all been I think there was a dairy or something up here back in the 60s as well Unigate or something oh, I just can't remember I'm sure in the 60s there was a dairy or something or and I think there was some corporation works here as well I know this land now has been used as a car park for the hospital now as we've just gone past Wilford Road there ahead of me. We're now walking along the road that has long gone now. It's called Tenscore Street. And Tenscore Street um, would go, it wasn't a particularly long road. I'm sure there's some history attached to the name Tenscore. Um, but um, I can't find any as to why it was called Tenscore Street. But what a great name for a road, eh? The whole row there of elderly residential council properties there behind the grey fencing here on my right now we've got McDonald's McDonald's was the site of a pub called the was it the four in hand the four in hand it wasn't very here it wasn't here very long but uh, it was like one of these pubs that was there one minute and gone the next and very popular for residents around here. I'll just take a quick walk through this car park here. Just want to show you something and show you just where those cars are parked just over there on the corner. That used to be the site of the Threepney Bit chip shop and only people who were born in West Bromwich would know about the Threepney Bit. And, uh, and we've got all these rows of shops along here. Uh, proper 60s builds aren't they, you can tell. Yeah, I did a video around here called Hell Part of West Bromwich. Check that one out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and there's another thing I was going to show you as well. When it's got up here, um, it's got LJS fencing, and up there used to be a walking NHS centre. Again, that wasn't there very long. And you know, people still come up today looking for that place, the walking centre. But sadly, that's gone. And Parsonage Street marks the end of Tenscore Street, ahead of me. OK, so as we leave Tenscore Street, we're now on a new road now, which would have been called All Saints Street. Yeah, not All Saints Way. But All Saints Way obviously was taken from this particular part of the road. Um, it's called All Saints Street now. And this will take you all the way down to the, the old church. And of course, as kids as coming to Churchfield School, we'd, we'd, we'd walk in over that side of the road now, up Church Vale, up towards the school. 
Yeah, here on my right was a very famous pub, a pub obviously, actually it never been demolished. It was called the Ring of Bells. The Ring of Bells was here on my right. We had a few red lines as well in West Bromwich. Um, one I know down Bridge Green, down Whitehall Road, which is now long gone of course. There's the red line there, that's still standing and it's still a pub I believe. I'm not sure if it's one of these bar grills. But certainly it's been there. I'm not 100% on this one, but it's quite an old pub unless it's been rebuilt. It looks as though it's, um, it was rebuilt, it looks like a 30s build, but I believe there was a beer house on there from around about the 1820s, so they've been selling beer there for quite some time. And this would have been the pound where they would keep their horses. And it was often said that the pub that was there, the Ring of Bells, that used to sell the pubs, they used to sell their beer by the pound. <laughs> yeah, by the pound. House there on the corner, um, which is now a residential property. But back in the early 70s, when I attended here at Churchfield, that was a shop, crikey, that shop was rammed with kids buying all kinds of snacks and stuff from there. It was rammed. Yeah, it was a sh that was a very popular shop there. As if you walk along that road there ahead of me, you'd be coming into the main entrance of the school church fields. Let's, um, let's just take a look over the other side of the road for you. There's the red line. There's Stanway Road ahead of me. OK. Yeah, and you can see for a pe many Many of us who used to go to Churchfield School, the early part of the 2000s, it was all got demolished. And in its place, we have the Churchfield's Way housing estate down there. Oh, there's, there's dozens and dozens of houses down there. You walk down there, you wouldn't know, you wouldn't know where there was a school down there. There's no, the only reminder now, of course, you've got Churchfield's Way, the name of the road, but down there, you, 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 there's nothing, there's absolutely nothing. You've only got your memories. When I came to Churchfield School, I was in 2-1-A and then, uh, then I got relegated to 3-2-B and, yeah. I think I was, there was a long time ago, I think I was in a house called uh, Bailey. I think we had five houses back then, in the early 70s. Uh, it wasn't before then, I think there was 10. You know, things like Diablo and that, but I can only remember, I can't remember the houses any longer. I remember Bailey, that was what I was in, and we had all the five blocks, A, B, C, D and E. I remember a few teachers. There was a Mr. Ship, I remember an English teacher, with his Afro hair style. Yeah, I remember him. Um, over there on the left there, we've got Arlington Road. Just there, another road that would have led on to All Saints Street. We have joined All Saints Street, but as you can see, it's been cut off. And but look, look at this, look at this old sign. You don't see many of these to the dozen anymore, do you? The original sign, Arlington Road. On the left here, this is called Churchwell Gardens. That new builds here, and they certainly don't like the dogs fouling on the grass. There's several signs around here, no dog fouling. You okay, folks? So we've come into the end of All Saints. Just to, All Saints. Well, just to say that, just here on the corner, there was an old vicarage. But there's something I can't remember. An old vicarage here on this corner of All Saints, well, All Saints Street. Then, yeah, this is the Churchill called Residential Care Home now. And of course, this this is a, a fairly new site, and this was the site of the vicarage. Ahead of me is Olly Edge Road. But you can't go down there in, in a car because it's, uh, it's no, you can see the no entry sign. But that was the main road right into Charlemont down that way. But one time before they made it a no entry. Uh, you know you can turn right now. To, to the right was Newton Road. That was only a, a single track as well back in the day. It was all tree line Newton Road. On the corner there we've, of Heath Lane. It used to be called Cemetery Road back in the day. But it's now called Heath Lane. And there you can see a huge with bright funeral directors. They, they really like to advertise what they do. They've got a huge sign here on the corner. They've got, they've got more signs, one sign on, on the side of the, the building and uh, another two in front of the, the, the building as well. Yeah, I think we get the point. We know what you do. And here, of course, is 
All Saints Church, the famous church, the oldest church in West Brom by far now. And it was it was originally built in the 1400s, and it was known at the time as the Church of St Clement. We actually actually up Linden, we got a road called St Clement's Road up there. Um, but yeah, it was the Church of St St Clement's. The church, yeah, it's been around the 1400s, but it, it, it was in the 1740s it got dedicated to All Saints instead of St Clement's. And then in 1871 it was mainly rebuilt. And in 1872 it was reopened in the present state that you can see today. And, and another video I did about the old part of West Bromwich, I talked about the, the cross right on the top of the, of the tower there. That used to light up at night and the knight said he didn't light up anymore because he'd been hit by so many lightning strikes they decided not to light it up anymore. But in actual fact, someone's told me it still lights up and it shines brightly at night. So check that out if you're ever around these parts of the old part of West Bromwich. OK then folks, uh, I think we'll wrap this video up now and I hope it's brought back a few memories for a few of you who, who had to walk along All Saints Way back in the day and it's changed a heck of a lot since the, since the early 70s and as I said many a times, those who've come back to this area uh, or seen videos of this area, like this one for instance and you left in the 70s, you'd be shocked to see the sort of changes that have, that have happened now in this part of West Bromwich. But um, anyway, as I said, I hope you liked the video and if you did, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. And also tick the notification bell uh, for future videos and I'll see you on the next one.